learn how to represent and interpret data. First, let's travel to Africa. Tables and charts are great for organizing data, but have you ever noticed how long it takes to figure out what's actually going on in the table? Are the values getting bigger, smaller? Is there a pattern or a trend? I mean, what do I know? I'm just a camel. The camel has a point. If you look at these tables, you can't automatically tell just by looking at it if it's going up or down or what the trend is. You have to actually go number by number and see, is it increasing? Is it decreasing? Hmm. We need a visual representation. But why zebras know the solution? It's a graph. Make a graph. Graphs help you visualize the information, and you can immediately identify patterns and trends. Different situations call for different types of graphs. The way data is displayed is often dependent upon what someone is trying to communicate. Hmm, the zebra has a point. Look at these graphs and these examples. The bar graph, just by looking at it, I can tell that more students like zebras than they did camels. And for the line graph, I can tell that the zebra population is going down. All I had to do was look at the graphs. Let's look at the different types of graphs. Did someone say graphs? I love graphs. <coughs> oh, bar graphs. Bar graphs can be used to compare data easily and see relationships. They provide a visual display comparing the numerical values of different categories. Oof! According to this graph, I need to go on a diet! Let's take a look at these bar graphs, though. They're the exact same graph comparing the animal's weights, but the only thing that's different is scale. Scale is very important to the look of your graph. In the first bar graph, we see, if we just look at it, we say, oh, hippopotamus doesn't weigh that much more than a rhino. But if we look at the second graph, since the scale is much smaller, it looks like hippopotamus weighs a lot more than a rhino. So it's really important to look at the scales. Here, our scale is going up by ones, whereas here, we're going up by half each time. Let's look at this example. Which of the following bar graph correctly displays the information shown in the table? Well, the table says camels have a lifespan of 40 years. So let's start there. Camel on the first graph goes up to 40. The second graph goes up to 40. The third graph goes up to 40. And the fifth graph, the fourth graph, that goes up to 25, so D is definitely not the answer. Let's look at elephants. They should be at 65 years. So in the first graph, yep, that's 65. The second graph, that's only 40, so it can't be B. And then answer choice C is at 40, so it can't be C either. So our answer must be A. Let's make sure. Zebra's at 40? Yep. Giraffes at 25? Yes, perfect. Our answer is A. 